Some communities want to take their biomass project further. So, not only are they looking at, say, installing a district heating system for a group of homes, or fitting out their village hall with a biomass boiler, they're also seeking to provide the wood chip that the heating system or boiler will run on. This may be because they can't find a reliable supply of wood chip or wood pellets in their area, or maybe it's because they simply like the feeling of self-sufficiency that would come with providing their own wood chip, whether that's owning or managing a woodland or another source of biomass fuel. It's clearly an attractive idea, but is it realistic and where would the wood chip come from? Some wood chip is produced through the growing and harvesting of fast-growing trees like willow or poplar. This is known as short rotation coppice because the trees are harvested and then regrown on a cycle usually of three years. But a short rotation coppice plantation is a proper agricultural operation which requires reasonably fertile land and specialised machinery. So not many communities will be in a position to undertake all of this. If yours is an agricultural community and you do have access to land, machinery and expertise, you need to allow over half a hectare for every house that would be heated by biomass. The Forestry Commission should be your first port of call for information on planting grants, machinery and management techniques. Woodchip can also be produced as a byproduct from managing park and street trees or as a waste product from businesses like sawmills. The other main source of wood chip is from traditional forest and woodland management. Small or poor quality trees are removed or thinned out from within the forest to give the better trees more space. These thinnings can then be turned into wood chip. But not all forests are so well managed. There has been a lack of a market for thinnings in the past, which means that many estates and larger farms have areas of undermanaged forest that have not been economical to manage. They may welcome an approach from someone to make use of this resource. Your community could therefore be able to enter into a contract with a local landowner to manage part of their woodland for wood fuel. If your community has this in mind, there's a couple of issues to consider. Firstly, as a rule of thumb, an average domestic home that uses a modern and efficient biomass boiler requires five to six tons of wood chips per year. That's around 16 to 18 cubic meters. Secondly, remember that whilst managing a woodland for biomass fuel can be good for the woodland itself and for the wildlife that lives there, this is not the case under a free-for-all. If a group of households takes over a woodland and each householder manages a small section of it for themselves, then the woodland will quickly degrade. This is because each household is acting without reference to what others are doing. You'll therefore need the help of a forestry consultant to help you write a coherent, long-term management plan. These typically take at least a 20-year view and contain detailed, shorter-term plans for thinning, harvesting and replanting. Your consultant will also help you apply for Forestry Commission management grants. Information on managing small woods can be found from the National Small Woods Association and the Forestry Commission. Woodland management is not to be entered into lightly. You'll need to become proficient in the use of forestry tools, such as chainsaws, and be prepared to work in bad weather, as many forestry operations can only be carried out in winter when trees are dormant. And it's a very long-term commitment. Is your whole group willing and able to make that commitment? If the finances of your biomass project are based on self-supply of wood chip in this way, insufficient attention to your crop could prove critical. One option is to establish a relationship with a forestry contractor to do the work on your behalf. Another is to engage in a straightforward wood chip supply contract with a local estate instead. Some estates don't offer wood chip as a product, but this may be because they don't think there's a demand. A classic chicken and egg situation. If you can offer them a guaranteed local market for what's currently unprofitable standing timber, you could make it viable for them to manage sections of overgrown woodland again. With a well-written contract, you'll then be assured of a local supply of wood chip produced by qualified foresters to the spec that your boiler needs. Your landowning friend will be assured of a continued local demand for their chipped timber and you won't have to go out in the rain and snow with a chainsaw.
You may also find that local sawmills have a similarly unprofitable source of waste wood that you could enter into a supply agreement for. Hopefully, this has given you ideas and inspiration for making the most of local biomass. Thanks for watching.